<laughs> Robin. What's the John Sterling clips? I've been so annoyed as a Yankee fan. I used to love John Sterling. I thought he did uh -huh. some interesting c color calls. Color calls. Lunch, hurry. But he became a caricature of himself and began to annoy me so much. I used to love the guy. I think he actually calls a really good game. A lot of people disagree. I think he's very good. But when he does this, the home run calls, he gets so wrapped up in his own shtick. Yeah. Um, like, you know. Like it's not about you, douchebag. It is high. It is far. It is gone. At times, if you don't know where the ball's going, that makes sense. Uh -huh. But when it becomes, it is high. It is far. All right. Is it? Is it gone? <laughs> well, when the Yankees win one, when the Yankees years ago would win <laughs> two to one in the ninth inning, and he would the Yankees win. It was a gr it was a chilling call. It was so good because you yeah. felt the way he. Would, it was a dramatic moment. Absolutely. That he was capturing with his call. Yes, in the playoffs. But you're now talking about win, a close game. In the playoffs, maybe the right, right. Yankees win, and you're like, yes, they did. Yeah. But yeah. now it's you know an eight to one win in Minnesota in July. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Your song oh, that is man. good. It's like, dude, do you have no emotion for everything? I, I same emotion. You gotta have yeah. a mix. The sportscasters be a now want to be the stars. You know. Yeah. That's what it's all about. We get it. He could go. Oh, I understand the way, <laughs> shithead. We could go. Oh, the could he? Could he? He has a 20-yard lead on the guy chasing exactly. him. Exactly. I think he's going to make it. He's got Christopher Reed blown into a straw behind him. <laughs> right, trying to move his wheelchair to catch him. I think he's going to score. <laughs> so good. Hey, cut! No! Oh! Oh! Ugh! <laughs> It sort of takes away from those special moments. And it's like, you know, I've you know, I've just seen the tape. He goes, oh, the... <laughs> fucko. <laughs> you made the fucko listen, Chris Berman. <laughs> Men is high. Men is far. <laughs> so we got uh, John Sterling audio from him calling Yankee games, right? And the names, by the way, that he assigns these players. Oh. The best phrase... The douche chill I get in the car. I can't even listen to him anymore. Yeah. I cannot listen. That bad. It, dude, they're yeah. terrible names. Like what? I don't know what. I. Th well, what we got some examples. Yeah, I think right? that's where we start here. Let Let's... is high. Let is high. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now the one one. Swung on there, goes to right. It is high. It is far. Is it true that was during batting practice? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> the Giambino? The Giambino. See, that was actually Oof. a great call until he said that. Yeah, the Giambino. That was a great call. It is high. It, is, it was quick. It wasn't dragged out and annoying. Yeah. The Giambino. Yeah. All right, let's uh, listen to the next one. 2-1 Seattle in the seventh, and the right-handed deals. Swung on it. Hit in the air. The deep right center. It is high. It is far. It is... It's a grand slam! Bernie goes boom! He drills a grand uh. slam into the bleachers in deep right center. Burn, baby, burn! And the uh. Yankees have taken a 5-2 lead. I would uh. rather have Bernie strike out than have to listen to that. Listen to that drivel. Bernie goes boom. Burn. Baby Burn. Burn Baby Burn. But probably burn. spelled B E R N. Of course. Because his name is Right. Bernie. And when guys hit home runs, oh, this is the worst. Like, if you guys were both up and you hit home runs, yeah. which you do in my eyes every day. Of course. Thanks, Jimmy. He would say, <laughs> <laughs> he would say, they hit home runs, a back to back and a belly to belly. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude, back to back and a belly to belly. Uh, yeah, he goes, and a, and a belly to belly. Whoa. All right, here we go. Here's that is an awful. It's horrendous. Here's another call. And here's a 2 1. Swung on, hit in the air to deep right center. Logan is after it, a way back in right center. That ball is gone. 
into the right center field bleachers. An A-bomb from A-Rod. Alex Rodriguez adds to his major league leading total, his 15th singer, and the Yankees take a 1-0 lead. Here's the 0-1. Swung on, hit in the same area to deep right center. That ball is high. It is far. It is gone. Oh, is he hot? Another A-bomb from A-Rod. He hit a two-run blast over the 385-foot side, and the Yankees take a 3-0 lead. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. How fucking awful. Is oh. it a bomb from a rod? He's got it like really over. <laughs> you know who caught an a bomb from a rod? The last guy that was banged by Robert Reed. Hey, <laughs> 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 he dropped the doozy right into his colon. <laughs> <laughs> right out of the hull of the Enola faggot. <laughs> Here's the next call. <laughs> Here's Posada. He has won a deep left. That ball is high. It is far. It is gone. Georgie Juice won. He drilled the ball ten rows back in the lower seats and left. Be a 1 0. Swung on it. There it goes to deep right. It is high. It is far. Right. It is gone. Right. Oh, another Yankee home run. Georgie Juice won again. He had a line drive toward the old Yankees bullpen in right. A three run post out on blast. And the Yankees now take a 10 0 lead. Oh, the good old days. Georgie Juice won. Georgie. Yeesh. It's fucking Oof. un... I can't listen to Yankee games anymore. <laughs> that is really bad. Do you understand? We, are there 18 of Martinez ones in here? Uh, I'm looking. Mm. We got we got the Alexander the Great. Oh. I never the heard. bitch is swung on. Hit in the air to deep center. That ball is high. It is far. It is gone in the block. Oh, another bomb from A-Rod. Alexander the Great hungers again. A home run in the black in dead center to break the scoreless tie. Do you know my head is tingling right now? Yuck. That's so awful. Yeah. My head is itching. Isn't that just the worst? It's the same feeling I got when I was 16 and I was jerking off reading a four magazine and my mother walked into my bedroom. <laughs> Embarrassment, sheer embarrassment. No, no, no. The desire to grab someone's head and force it on my cock. <laughs> Don't misquote me. <laughs> An A bomb from A Rod. Let's say hi to Mark in Connecticut. Dad Mark. liked what? Yeah, like <laughs> the one one Sterling call from a couple of years ago or a year or something ago. The Yankees lost something like twenty-five to nothing, and at the end of the game, Sterling was on tears, like. And you know, the best thing about baseball is that the sun will come up tomorrow. <laughs> and it's just, that was, like, the call. Really? That, is, it, uh, is, is there any Tino Martinez ones here? I don't think so. Oh, uh, no, back to oh, back. Oh, no, we got some Tino okay, coming up. Okay, good, good, good. But first, we got the Yankees win call that, uh... Oh. Well, again, if it's done right, I like it. There's, there's a way to do it where it's genuine and a way where it's not. But every game he ends with this. Yes. Yeah. That the Yankees win. Rivera at... The belt and the 0-2. Struck him out swinging. Ball game over. Yankees win. The Yankees win. <sighs> Do they? <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to be the stars. It's it not about the players really... anymore. I like the guy. I know this is a local reference. A guy named Charlie Steiner was doing the game. And I like Susan Waldman. She's a big fan, obviously, as well as being an announcer, but... God damn it, John. Just stop. Do the calls good. You know, how you, he's got a great voice. He knows how to do a call. So just do it. Yeah. An A bomb from A Rod? Who looks at that and goes, that was fucking great? When you went. He's brilliant. When you went, mm, it is high, mm, it is far. I think for now on, when one of us has a killer line in the show, oh. some, someone has to call it. Burn! Call it. <laughs> Or <laughs> well, if you guys have 
good lines. I'll go a back to back and a belly to belly. <laughs> hey, Prozac. Oh. Good morning, boy. Hey, Prozac. Hey, uh, this uh, John Sterling is such an arrogant prick. He won't come on the air when the game starts until Susan Waldman says, and now the voice of the New York Yankees, John Sterling. Well, it's called an introduction, sir. <laughs> yeah, the nerve <laughs> of him. fault him for that. He won't come on until the mic's, the power's up. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Don't nitpick, sir. The man's a bull, but... Uh, Nate, what's up? Hey, good morning, guys. Hey. Good morning, Hi. Juicy Nipples. You Thank guys you. are missing the most annoying thing about Sterling. <laughs> the fact that he will not even call the game. The game is secondary compared to his own inane babble. I once heard him talking about the tires on his car. He was going, but you know, Susan, uh, I've got these old season radio, uh, the pitcher strike. And, uh, you know, I keep them on my car all year long. I got in a way no. defend Sterling on that one. All announcers do that a little bit. Know who's great at that, Phil he Rizzuto. Be, Rizzuto was awful. He was great was about talking about about everything the but the game is what I'm saying. Right. And, no, no, dude, I know what you're saying, but I actually like the way Sterling calls, you know, the bitch. I mean, I, I actually... It's like the game is completely secondary to whether, whatever he happens to be talking about at the time. He won't even tell you what pitch was thrown if he's in the middle of something else. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, I haven't noticed that. Maybe you're right, but I, I like I like the way he actually does a regular call. I actually like a regular call. All right. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Let's go to Rugburn from Black Bag. <laughs> Rugburn. You guys need to get big A. Do the Yankee calls? <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> the Yankees win. The uh, 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 Yankees win. Punching out, boy. It is high. All right, here's another call. The pitch is swung on, and there goes the deep right. It is high. It is far. It is gone. He's done it again. He's done it again. The Bamtino. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> not the well, Bamtino. I don't believe it, and I'm seeing it. I haven't missed a game with the Yanks in 17 years. I haven't seen anything like this. Constantino Martinez of Tampa, Florida has hit his second home run of the game. A two-run home run. Ties the game at three. Unbelievable. In all those years of broadcasting, he hasn't seen a player hit two homers in one game? No. Yeah, it really was a, it was a life-changing experience. Jesus. The well, Bamtino. That, that, that's the one. That, that actually makes my asshole go in farther. A pucker. Yeah. It's a real like you can hear my asshole go. Oh. <laughs> That's so gross. Now the payoff. Swung on drill to deep right field. Back goes Burns. It is gone. It's off the back wall. I think it's gone. It is gone. Another Tino home run. Is that amazing? Is that absolutely amazing? He has hit seven homers in the last eight games. The Bam Tino. He drills a home run in the Yankees trail 3 1. Oh, <laughs> the Bam Tino. Who's in the car going, come on, say Bam Tino? Say it. You know you want to. Uh, Brian, Tennessee. Hey, guys. Morning. Morning. Hey. Hey, uh, you could be worse. Uh, I don't know the guy's name, but you could have the announcer for the Atlanta Braves. Uh, real drudge, real slow talking. Put you to sleep. No, I, and I like that. There's a lot I like about Sterling. I'm not saying he sucks. They should fire him. But those specific things that he's obsessed with, it's like an OCD thing with him. Is that he's turning the doorknob three times every time Tino hits a home run. He's got to say that. It just yeah. becomes irritating. Um, because I do think he does a good game. That's what bugs me. Is I like his calls. <laughs> Do you think maybe he's trying to be like an ESPN reporter? Yeah. Hey, Mike, go! Oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got to check on this one, James. <laughs> this one's out of here. Uh, so, it's just it's easy, terrible. Guys. And I'm also sick of who is it? Coleman that does the Met games is very overrated. Yeah. You know, uh, looking up, it's out of here! <laughs> <laughs> is it, shithead? <laughs> it's out of here! <laughs> he's a fucking cornball, too. <laughs> Now the right-hander is set to be a 2-2 two -two to Giambi. The pitch is swung on and hit in the air to deep right. It is high. Yes. It is far. It is, it is yeah. gone. A walk-off two-run bottom of the tenth home run by Jason Giambi. The Giambino. Ball game ah. over. Yankees win. The Yankees win. The Giambino. No, no, no. That would be stupid. It's the Giambino. Ah, the Giambino. Does he know that he sounds like a real douchebag when he <laughs> says that? 
the Giambino, the Bamtino. Two to go. Penniman is set. And he deals. Swung on in line to left center field. It is a base hit. Rounding third is Reigns. He'll score. Tino goes to third. It's a two out. Base hit to left center by Mariano Duncan. <coughs> and the Yankees have taken a 3-2 lead. The goody gritty Yanks have struck again. Yeah, I never liked it. But that, I actually like that call. Uh, up until, wow, Mariano Duncan, Jesus, that's got to be fucking eight years ago. The Dunkino, <laughs> right? <laughs> Mariano Duncan dunks one into center field. <laughs> but no, I like that call, except the gutty, gritty Yankee. Yeah, he used to always say that, but that didn't yeah. bother me as much. Yeah. But I, I know what he was saying. Hey, Mike, go! Oh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> one more. The 2-1. Swung on and hit high in the air. The deep left center. That ball is going to be high. It's going to be far. Gone! It's his first grand slam. The first grand slam of Jeter's career. A wallop over the left center field wall. A grand slam. And the Yankees now have a 7 1 lead. What was wrong with that call? Nothing wrong with that clip. We can't end with that. That's fine. That was a good call. In radio, you got to end with uh, a good one. You got to end I mean, I know you don't want to end on a chances, high note. But- of course. Here's one. What was that call? Oops, right? All right, we'll try to end with this one. Bill Risley warms in the bullpen. Mattingly swings and he has a drive to deep right center. It is high. It is far. It is down. Back to back. In a belly to belly. Ten Mattingly homers in the right center field area. And the Yankees take a three to lead. Oh, wow. Has he been doing that since 94? That, that long. Battingly call. Wow. <laughs> wow. Back to back. Uh, but, and Andy Hawkins has been knocked out of the game. Holy shit. <laughs> and a belly to belly. <laughs> Ugh. Mm. Oh. Too bad Ben didn't hit a home run. You know, uh, A scalp to scalp and a hog to hog. Lou Gehrig hits one. Oh, shaky running around the bases. <laughs> <laughs> it is high. It is far. It is gone. <laughs> Ramon. <laughs> Bring Bamtino a home run. <laughs> and the hit. It is high. It is far. <laughs> it is gone. <laughs> <laughs> it, back to back and and and, and fixed belly to belly <laughs> oh my God. and stapled belly to belly. Yes, they call me the Bearbino. <laughs> <laughs> and Carlisi hits another bare bones home run. <laughs> <laughs>